G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly explain how the sniper mode works in the Taylor Drift Ultimate Pro Aim script. This isn't going to be a video on how to enter the menu, navigate the menu and change values. So if you are brand new to this script, then this isn't going to be the video for you. And I strongly recommend watching my video guide on the script first, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. Sniper mode is a new feature to the Taylor Drift Pro Aim scripts. The idea of sniper mode is to allow users to easily switch between their normal anti-recoil and aim assist settings to settings that accommodate sniping much better. This means you don't have to manually configure individual mods when using a sniper. Everything switches automatically and reverts back when sniper mode is disabled. To activate and deactivate sniper mode, you need to press LT or L2 and double tap left on the D-pad. If you play on any of the flipped controller layouts, you will need to activate and deactivate sniper mode with LB or L1 and double tapping left on the D-pad. Now let's have a look at the available mods in sniper mode. The first one I want to talk about is steady aim. Steady aim is a mod that slows down your sensitivity when you're in the enemy aim assist box. The higher the steady aim value, the slower your sense will be when your reticle is in that aim assist box. Next is the sense mod. So for people that have been using Taylor Sense in this script or other Taylor Drift scripts, you would have a good understanding of how this works. For the people that don't, this is a sensitivity mod. So this allows you to modify your sensitivity when in sniper mode only. So if you want your general sense or your ADS multiplier to be lower or higher when you have a sniper in your hands, you can adjust that with this mod. The value of 100 represents your current in-game settings. Putting it above 100 will increase the sense and below 100 will slower your sense. Next we have quickscope and hold breath. Both are pretty self-explanatory but quickscope allows you to tap your ADS button and that will make you ADS and fire. This mod also has an adjustable time which lets you adjust the time between when you tap the ADS button to when it fires a shot. This is to accommodate snipers with different ADS times. Hold breath makes it so when you ADS with a sniper the hold breath button is automatically pressed. This means your aim is as stable as it can be from the very second you aim down your sight. Okay, so that's the sniper mods. The last thing we need to go over is the sniper strength and time. Sniper strength and time work the same way as radius and steps in Taylor Assist or Taylor Aim works. Strength changes the size of the shape the script will make when you ADS and the time will change the speed it completes that shape. The shape it makes all depends on the shape you use in Taylor Aim. This means if you use a circular shape in Taylor Aim, when you activate sniper mode, it will still be a circular shape, but the radius and steps will be changed to the strength and time value values you have set in the sniper mod settings. So I know this might seem a little bit confusing for now. So what we're going to do now that I've gone through all that is jump in a private lobby and go through some examples. Let's have a look. All right. So here we are in a private lobby. I'm going to go through pretty much everything I just covered just before, uh, but I'm just going to do it here in the private lobby. So that way I'm going to talk through it a bit more for people that enjoy, you know, learning this way, then, you know, here it is. Now to activate it, like I said before, it is uh, left trigger and double tap left on the D-pad. Uh, let's go and have a look at these sniper mods. And if you go to the sniper mod section, the first thing I'm going to talk about is these two here. Because if I don't talk about it, people are going to, oh, what's the best values? I look, if you haven't seen my other aim assist video where I talk about aim assist values and have a bit of a rant about aim assist values and finding the right aim assist values, if you haven't seen that, I recommend watching it. But the point of that video, and it's the same with this, you don't have to fuck around with it too much, okay? Just the default values, I think, are 10, 10, and maybe 20. I can't remember what steady aim's on. But these two are definitely on 10 uh, and 10 as to start off with. Now, you, you don't have to fuck with that. No matter what values you put into the strength and time, this is never going to be aimbot, right? It's never going to get it even close to that. There's a reason why it's on 10 and 10. You don't have to leave it there if you really don't want to, but you don't have to dive deep into, oh, finding the very best values, okay? So don't stress about those. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the sense options here. Like I said in the video, this is a sensitivity modifier. So if you want to have a higher sensitivity or a lower sensitivity when you're sniping, this is how you do it. Uh, my sensitivity, when I look around normally like this, is 7.7. Okay, now what I'm going to do, the 100 here represents my in-game settings of 7.7. I'm going to decrease this down to uh, 50. All right, back out so that saves. And you'll now see that when I move around, it's, it's a lot slower. All right, I can notice it. It's definitely a lot slower. So if I deactivate sniper mode, everything's back to normal. See? Activate it. It goes back to the slower sensitivity looking around. All right, now if you don't want to do that, there's other options there as well. So we go back in. Now, if I put the general sense back up to 100, leave it there. But the ADS sense, I got that on 50. It was already on 50. So if I have it on 100, you'll see that when I aim down my sight, everything is normal. I have my uh, high ADS and I think 0.80 or 0.85. Now, if we want to change that, we go into the sniper mods here. We go over to um, the ADS sense option and we can turn that one down, back down to 50. 
And now, once I ADS, you'll see it's very slow. I'm, I am moving my stick all the way to the left and all the way to the right. I deactivate sniper mode, aim down, everything's back to normal. Sniper mode activated. It's slower. So you can play around with that if you like. If you want it to be faster, you can. It's all up to you, but that's how that works. Next, I'll have a quick chat about the quick scope. It's very easy, very self-explanatory. So if I turn that one on, I've got the uh, quick scope time there, the quick scope delay of 200, okay? So it'll be very quick, as you can see here. Just tap, tap. There we go, once it's loaded, tap. And it fires. Now, if we go back in, uh, sniper mods, and we go over to the quick scope option in, and we turn this one up to, let's turn it all the way up so we notice the difference at least. There we go, 600. Back out, we'll now notice uh, there's a bit of a longer delay. So tap, there we go, tap. There we go, I think you get the point. So this can be for, you know, snipers that have different ADS times when you put different attachments on them and stuff. Uh, it can also be if you're not that comfortable with taking a, a very quick, quick scope. If you want a little bit more time to get your shot on, then you can increase that delay. Okay, now I'm also gonna quickly go through the hold breath mod here. Now this one is a little bit bugged. Now, I have it off here, as you can see. If I back out and I activate the sniper mode, once it's activated, even though I have hold breath off, you can see it's activated. So that's a little bug. Even if you have the hold breath off, as soon as you activate sniper mode, it's it's gonna be on. So not much we can do about that until another update. But either way, it's not the worst thing. I just wanted to make sure I put that in the video so people didn't complain in the comments after. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna go through is the steady aim option. This is by far my favorite thing in the sniper mod um, section. Now, like I mentioned before, steady aim slows down your sensitivity when you're in that enemy aim assist box, okay? Now, it is hard to show it when we're doing this. However, once you use it, you will feel a difference, okay? So um, if I have sniper mode deactivated, um, you notice aim at my friend here, aim like this, so it's not in the aim assist box, and put my aim over him. You can see it's slowing down uh, when it gets onto him there. All right, that's a normal aim assist. Now, if I go in and have a look at sniper mods, go over to the steady aim section. Now, like I mentioned before, strength and time, you don't have to fuck with those at all, all right? You don't really don't need to change those. Steady aim is the only one that I'm really changing here. And when I'm using it, I abuse it and I put it all the way up to 90 because I want my sensitivity slowed down as much as possible because I'm absolutely trash when I'm sniping on controller. And when I say sensitivity slowed down, it's slowed down when you're aiming at the enemy. Okay, so it's not always. If I activate the sniper mode, now the steady aim will be activated too. Uh, aim in, and there we go. So it does, it, it, it does look kind of the same, but like I said, once you use this, if you can get a friend maybe to jump in a private lobby like this so you can test it out, even if you go and test it in multiplayer or test it in plunder or something, you will feel the difference when you turn the steady aim up and have the uh, sniper mode activated. It's impossible not to. And yeah, so that's what steady aim does. Perfect. Yeah, it definitely makes like, you still need to be really good with it, but it still makes it easier to like, move your aim over to an enemy because you don't have to be as accurate and it, it followed you a little bit there but you know you still need to flick it to your target now see how it kind of followed him as go. he jumped out there yeah not not heaps but it's sort of you know it's an assist it, it helps a little bit oh my fucking slow our sensitivity oh hello <laughs> i got a little kiss did you <laughs> all right you want to do it now no nah. In a sec. Fuck. <laughs> I knew I was fucking done for. And there we go. So by now, you should have a much better understanding of how the sniper mode works in this Taylor Drift script. I know I didn't go into the very absolute depths of how everything works, but you're going to have a much better understanding of it now and hopefully be a lot more comfortable using it in game. Now, with that steady aim value as well, I personally like to have it on 90. I'm not recommending the very best value to be 90 for the steady aim. That's what I like to have it on. So make sure you experiment with the steady aim. The thing is with the uh, strength and time, like I've said, you don't really have to fuck around with it. A couple of things that I'll mention though, if you don't like the amount of screen shake when you're using the sniper mode, if there is any, the radius needs to be turned down a little bit. When you ADS and you're moving your aim around, if it wobbles a little bit too much for you, you can increase the steps and that should make it a bit smoother. Other than that, you don't really need to be playing around with those values. Steady aim, I recommend playing with that a little bit until you find something that you're happy with. I ended up just wanting to leave it up on 90. So that way I get the most out of it as possible. So hopefully I haven't forgotten anything too important. Uh, if you do have any questions, ask them in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.